Welcome back to Comedy or Worse. Worse. Hell yeah. I'm here with my special guest. Zana Weiss. Yeah, I love when people know what to do when I point at them. <laughs> um, okay, so is that your uh, full name or a stage name? or? Um, it's a stage name slash a nickname. Oh, how, how cool. Thank you. Yeah, so what, why did you go with the stage name? Because there's a, a writer who is also named Susanna Weiss, spelled uh, the same way. And for a while, okay, so people kept thinking I was her, and at least one person thought that she was me. And uh, for a minute, I was like kind of okay with that because she wasn't like writing anything that I disagreed with. Yeah. But the thing is, a big part of my brand is being a lesbian, and then yeah. she took this like left turn with her content where she was like, I love sucking dick, I love having <laughs> sex with men. And I was like, you know, that's good for you, but. That's <laughs> not my brand. <laughs> exactly. It's like, okay, I don't want people to think that she's me anymore, no offense. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> and besides, who knows what she'll say. That's not very controversial, saying, at any of the, you know, or I love eating pussy or whatever, it like doesn't matter. Like it's, yeah. like, but who knows what other crazy stuff it always happens. Better just to be yourself and have people know who you are. Right. Although the nice thing is, if a job <laughs> sees something that I did, then I feel like that wasn't me. It was the other Susanna Weiss. <laughs> Come on, you guys. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, how did you get into comedy? Um, I have been doing improv forever, since high school. Um, and then, after college, it felt weird to like not be doing classes anymore. Uh -huh. So, um, I started taking uh, sketch writing classes through Second City Online, and then their algorithm recommended their uh, stand-up comedy course. Oh, yeah. And so I took that, and then it was over. It was. Love at first sight. You're like, I like this better than anything else. Yeah, so I was like, I have to do this one day a week for the rest of my life or I'll die. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so do, are you doing improv as well at the same time? <laughs> no, not really. That's fine. Yeah. Um, um, I took some classes through, uh, through Finest City, um, and then I graduated that, and then I just haven't kept up with it. You got to the top level? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's so cool. Thank you. Yeah, improv. Uh, I want to do improv as well. It's just, I could see paying for improv. I, I just I don't know about paying for a stand up class. Like, I guess if it was like, as long as it's not the basics, I guess I could see doing it. You know? Yeah. Um, I did it because. I paid for a class because if I didn't, then I would have like never started. That makes sense. That it's uh, you gotta know yourself. Like right now, I'm parking like for free in San Diego, mm -hmm. but I'm par I have to park way far away, and it's like and that's how I get my exercise. Okay. <laughs> if I park, if I pay the money and park closer, then it's like oh, I'm just not gonna exercise. I'm just gonna go to work. Gotta know yourself. Precisely. Yeah. Uh, so you're addicted to comedy. That's good. Uh, what is your like writing process? Um. I will wait for something to come to me. I know that's not an answer that people like, but no. um, I'll see things in my daily life, and then I'll be like, oh, this could be funny in another way, or like what if this person said this instead, or what would happen if something else happened. Right, or like three years ago, I should have said this comeback. <laughs> <laughs> yes. but no one knows, I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And then I just keep writing it, and then trying it again and again until I get it the way that I want it to be. Oh yeah, so you ever like uh, practice your material uh, just by yourself? Yeah. Oh, cool. Not as much as I should, but I will. Nice. Well, at least you're 
right track. Are you recording everything that you do? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. You realize that, no. right? Okay. <laughs> I highly recommend doing that. Yeah, especially video, since, you know, that you understand, right? The, yeah, the Instagram reels and the TikToks and, and the. Like, you know, you might be like, oh, Three nights ago, why didn't that joke go over very well? And then you watch back the video. Oh yeah, I was just being all weird, but in a bad way or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I recommend that. Um, let's see. I always ask these people, people this, and I, I rarely know the answer. Do you remember when we met? Um. I don't remember like officially meeting you, <laughs> but I think I remember the first time I saw you on stage. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. When was that? Um, I don't know, but I remember seeing your set and being like, "What's with this guy?" At least it's not like boring. <laughs> San Diego has too many comics. Moved out way already. <laughs> we took all the comics and put them somewhere else. <laughs> quit. Everybody quit. <laughs> Every, no, what? No, don't quit. <laughs> yeah. um, so, oh, so have you ever, like, traveled for comedy? Yes. Los Angeles and Las Vegas wow. um, and Palm Springs. Sweet. So, uh, what was the funnest show that you've ever done so far? Um, I think it was one of the Las Vegas ones. I went down there with my friend, the Mistress K. Um, and there was nothing particularly special about it, but it was fun. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to have fun, even though you can't quite remember why you had fun. That seems like the best kind of fun. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I'm just uh, typing in the question. The new question I just asked. Sometimes I come up with a new question and yeah. I gotta not forget. <laughs> Uh, oh, so do you have any, uh, aside from rock and comedy, do you have any other hobbies that are just totally different? Or? Um, I have monetized, like, all of my hobbies, so now they're, like, not obvious anymore. Oh, no. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wait, money? I like money. What is it? Is the business saturated? Yes. Because <laughs> it's art, so there's a lot of artists around. Yeah. But I guess an art. Um, mostly painting. Sweet. Yeah. Whatever I can get my hands on. Like watercolors or uh, acrylic or mostly acrylic. Sometimes I like to use gouache. It's like gouache. So yeah. Person. Yeah, it's like um a very saturated watercolor and it's um oh, okay. it's more like pigmented and it's got kind of like a clay type of texture. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Nice. So you're 
actually able to sell your art? Sometimes. Hell yeah. That's, that's where I got to figure out how to make money. Have, like, I'm trying to do merch, but it's, it's hard. I, I can't sell. Oh, I sold, I sold one thing online, to, but it was a co-worker slash friend. So I don't know if I should even count that. <laughs> right? It's okay. A sale is a sale. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I sold a couple early shirts, but that was also just like a fluke. I mean, like, it doesn't feel like it has any momentum. So, do you ever sell your art online at all? Or? I've tried to, but nobody, nobody's fighting. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how it's like people are buying stuff online all the time, but it's like, how do they, how do you get them to buy it from you? Yeah. <laughs> it seems hard. And then on social media, especially TikTok. Once the social media figures out that people are like doing art, then for some reason they want to like suppress it. I don't know why though. And so then yeah, for like they want to get some of the money. Yeah, if you get in like early enough, then you can like build an art following. But then they're like, no, no art followers for you. So, yeah, that's awful. They all all the social media platforms have algorithms and advertisers. Uh, yeah. What we should do is we should do our own commercials. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make money on the other side and make the ads. Yeah. They're like sketches, but they sell you stuff. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's cool. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, they're too loud over there. Right now, as always, we're live in the brick room at the Madhouse Comedy Club and a show is going on in the main room but they wish they were quiet trying to record a podcast here right yeah cheers <laughs> yes uh, so do you wish you started comedy earlier um no sometimes okay. I think about that but I think I started at the right time oh yeah that's awesome and then uh, what are your goals in comedy? My goals in comedy, um, I want to be able to like lip off of it. Nice. That would be good. Like dream of dreams. I want to be like Sarah Silverman, like people like me enough to like put me in a movie sometimes, but <laughs> mostly okay. just doing stand up. Yeah, that's cool. Or what about TV or? Oh, that would be good. Hear that? She's available for movies, TV, commercials, whatever you want. Discover me. Yeah. Discover Santa. Wise. Oh, she's right here. You can talk to her. Say, ask a question. Oh wait, this is inter interactive. Damn it. Uh, so, do you have like a favorite fan interaction so far? It doesn't. It could be from anything. Or um, one time after a show, this lady came up to me and she was like, oh, I wish I could have brought my daughter to this show because um, she's just like you. She dresses just like you, except she has pink hair. She would have loved this. <laughs> That's so funny. That's yeah. cool. I could see why that would be your favorite. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, do you have like a favorite joke of, of yours or? Sam, favorite joke. What do you think of? Um, <laughs> I went to the show at the Acid Vault and Madison Sinclair was there. Uh, and she had this joke about uh, how there's this episode of Captain Planet where okay. he he has to like he has to get rid of a bomb, so <laughs> he so eats the bomb. Oh. <laughs> he goes back in time. <laughs> He's like supposed to defeat Hitler, but like he throws the bomb in there, but he like doesn't stop the Holocaust. And that's like. <laughs> so Hitler's dead, but the Holocaust keeps going? Oh my goodness. <laughs> She's like, like, why didn't he, why didn't he try to stop the Holocaust? He just 
fine and we just cut him. And curve itself, right? It's just the bomb with the blood. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I might have already kind of covered this, but do you do you have like merch for comedy? Or? No, I was gonna start making like friendship bracelets because I thought it would be funny if people thought that like my fans were wearing like Taylor Swift ones, and then they'd be like, "Oh my god, let me see your bracelet," and then it would be like, "Cannibalism is okay sometimes." <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a that's a good idea. They take a really long time to make, though, so yeah. I decided not to go with that. Yeah, maybe you'd have to have a robot do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, we this big contraption. It's like, just like, let's see, put all of the C's together. <laughs> you know, like, have to, I don't know. Right. Uh, that's interesting. Um, let's see. Uh, what about... What was your like family life growing up? Um, so I grew up in Minnesota, St. Paul. Makes sense. Um, I have my mom and my dad and my older brother. Cool. And we had a dog and a cat. You know, the they lived the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Are the cat did. Why? The cat died. Um, in like right before Joe Biden won the election. <laughs> He's like, oh, I know what's going to happen. It's all good. I'm I going to go. <laughs> My work here is done. What's that? My work here is yeah. done. <laughs> My cat just helped in a small way. Put enough love into the world. Yes, changes around. Hell yeah. Thanks for your service, Rosie. <laughs> yes, it's cool. Uh, so you have any pet pets now? No. But I am a professional cat sitter. Oh, that's, yeah, I have heard of this <laughs> in your jokes. <laughs> Which might have been made up, but I guess it's real. <laughs> it is real. <laughs> that's super cool. Yeah. So, um, how did you fall into that? Um, I saw an ad for it on Facebook, and I was oh. like, I want to do that. That sounds like the best job ever. Oh, that's super cool. And it is. So do you like work for a company or? Yeah, I work for Meow Town. It's like Rover, but specifically for cats. Oh, okay. That's, that makes sense. That's cool. They should just have one app. <laughs> do you have a cat? you have a dog? Do you have both? I think on Rover you can request a cat sitter too. Oh, okay. That's cool. But I only want to do cats, so I go to the cat specific one. That makes sense, yeah. Sweet. Uh, so you're able to make enough money to, to live off just on that? Oh, I also work at Target. Oh. Uh, <laughs> retail. Yes. Boys. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> That's dramatic. <laughs> I only had to deal with one driver today. <laughs> Actually, I think that they just picked up the food and I didn't have to talk to them. Yay! Nice. <laughs> yes. um, so, have you ever like won a comedy contest or anything like that? Yes, it was the very first show I ever did. What? Back in Minneapolis, right before I moved here. And one? Yes. But it was <laughs> just me and one other girl. So. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. You, you got first place. Yeah. Good job. Is that other person still doing comedy? No idea. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably got devastated. <laughs> That's funny. Um, let's see. So, what's your favorite uh, place to do comedy? Um, my favorite place to do a show or a favorite open mic? It doesn't matter. Whatever you think that that means. Um, my favorite place 
to do a show right now is diversionary theater. Wow, that sounds cool. Where, where, where is that? Um, it's in Hillcrest, and it's like a LGBT focused theater. Oh, and cool. They usually do comedy on Sundays. Sweet. Uh, on Sundays, dang it. My Sundays are on Sundays. Um, so, what makes it your favorite place? Because it's inviting? Because it's LGBT? Yeah. Um, well, there's that, and then it's also a cool venue. Um, it's like pretty small, but yeah. they have this like garage door that they open, and so it's like half outside, half inside. Oh, that's cool. And it's just good vibes, you know? Nice. Sounds good. Uh, so what's the place that you hate doing comedy? I hate doing comedy. Um, my parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> Out in public. <laughs> So let me ask you this now. What do you say to people that find out you're a comic and they're like, tell me a joke? Um, why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> so you actually do it? <laughs> she actually tries. Oh my goodness. I say, no, you have to go to my show. Oh, you do? Okay, <laughs> that's good. That makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I don't know if you know, I don't know if I said it on the episode you listened to, but. Part of the reason for this podcast is to encourage people to see live comedy. Do it. Right after you listen to the episode, then go out and see live comedy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter where. Doesn't matter if it's on the street during the pandemic. <laughs> Hopefully they're not, not going to happen again. <laughs> I actually liked those parking lot open mics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was different. Um, I didn't get to go to many of them, though. That sucked. Remember that one at Fiesta Island? I never they? got to go at all. Oh. It kept, by the time it started, like I was already in the back here, um, the madhouse, cooking away, helping to save this place. Enough about me. <laughs> Being a hero. <laughs> yeah, it keeps coming up. I, I, it's my fault. Uh, well, you know, the, the pandemic was a big part. You know, you said you've been doing it for uh, five years or so. Mm -hmm. Me too. And like a big part of it was the pandemic. Yeah. So I, at some point, I probably have to just figure out how many months, or, you know, over a year, but some kind of months and just subtract it and then like explain to people I've been doing it for this long but I started X amount of years ago or whatever but um, it doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't matter nothing matters why are we doing this because it's fun yeah because we like it <laughs> yes we like talking about comedy and getting to know the comics in San Diego scene. Um, so what audience size do you think is like the perfect for you right now? Like, uh, do you think like 500 would be perfect or 50 or? Mm, like 100 to 200 maybe? Yeah, Between that's... that and like 50 or I don't know. Cool. And then, um, audience size. Uh, oh, uh, so do you like to do comedy with like other comics that are like similar to your style, or do you like the variety? Or um, it doesn't really matter to me. They're both things are good. Um, LGBT shows are like special to me yeah. and sometimes it is like extra fun if you haven't done one in a while Okay. because you know we're all girls here <laughs> 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 so. yeah nice <laughs> it's just a different vibe you know yeah for 
Sure. doing bad at this. I understand. You're doing the questions so fast. <laughs> I understand the struggle because I have a podcast too. Okay, what's the uh, plug your podcast? What's that? Um, it's Crush the Podcast. Oh, um, okay. Yes, it's a seasonal thing. I start posting every February because that's when Valentine's Day is. Oh, okay. And I interview Canadians about love and romance. Nice. Um, but it's specifically like people with marginalized identities. Okay. Um, like if you're LGBT, if you're a person of color, if you're a woman, etc. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to be offended that I haven't invited you yet. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm uh, not exactly straight, but I haven't really started dating men yet. I, I keep thinking that I'm at the point where I'm gonna just give up, you know, kind of buy but I'm way more attracted to, to women than men. Mm -hmm. So I, that's my justification for not dating men yet. <laughs> you know, it's just like, well, that's not what I want ultimately, really. But I don't know, maybe I should. I keep thinking, oh yeah, I'm at the point where I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. And then I just, I don't know. It's also like, uh, I've been alone for so long. It's just, I think about, oh yeah, and then I come back, and then there's someone there, and I want to be a woman. Yes. <laughs> like, oh my god. No. There's this quote, I think uh, Whoopi Goldberg said it. Yeah. She said that she doesn't want to get married because she doesn't want somebody in her house. <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, you just have to have like, a special relationship. Or can we just have different houses? <laughs> right? Ideal, like, where you live in a, du in a duplex, or... We live across the street from each other, and I can like flash her from my window. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Or like you uh, share backyards so that yeah. you can do that more privately. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know, you know, you know I, I get it. It's okay. It's just imaginary. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just imaginary anyway. But you know, uh, but I have no problem with public. If you haven't been to Black's Beach before, it's <laughs> great. I, I don't know if I'm a nudist though, because like around my house, like I don't, I just like, I guess, I think I just get too cold. Okay. You know, and it's like, and also, just, I don't, I have to talk to nudists, like how do you deal with, you know, I don't know if I would want to say it. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Sitting on your balls, like you know, yeah. maybe it's a real problem. It's a valid question, you know. So, I don't know how they do it, they must yeah. have some kind of method, yeah. You know. I'm not sure, after you've done it enough, then you figure it out. You just figure it out, you just figure it out to be careful or whatever. <laughs> So, are you do art, comedy, improv? Um, is there any other thing that you want to do, like write a book or artistic things you haven't tried yet? Um, I've been wanting to write and illustrate a comic book, but that takes a lot of time and effort. <laughs> And I'd love to like write for TV someday. I love writing like scripts. Okay, so uh, you wrote a script before? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, so what was after you wrote the script? Then what did you do? Um, then I put it away and never looked at it again. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not what you're supposed to do. Are you waiting until you die and then be like, oh my goodness, she was she was amazing. <laughs> Look at all this art. Yeah, we knew about the art. <laughs> what is this, a script? And then they make it. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting until I'm no longer found by my mortal flesh prison and then I'll have endless stamina to do everything that I want. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will become art. 
purple, you go to the cosmos. Yes. Uh, oh, so that, are you a spiritual person? Um, kind of. Like, I believe in ghosts. Um, okay. Wait, because there's one behind me? <laughs> When you said that, I, was, I got scared. I believe in ghosts. Looks behind me. She's the ghost. Yes. I've secretly been an apparition this whole time. Oh, no. I'm going to have to check the camera. <laughs> no, I saw you on camera. I know you're a special ghost. Yes. Yes, I knew it. Um, I've been trying to learn tarot. Um, I'm not like super good at it yet, but I've been getting into that. How do you know if you're good at tarot? Um, if you look at the cards and then you know what they mean. Whoa! <laughs> so you just have some memorization to do. Yes. Okay. And it's also like an intuitive thing because some of them have like more than one meaning. Uh -huh. And it also like correlates to the situation you're asking about. Like nice. the worst card you can get in tarot is the tower, um, because that means that like everything is going to fall apart, um, but it could be a good thing because if a tower is built on a foundation that isn't good, then it's not going to stand and you like don't want that building, right? Yeah. So then it's an opportunity to like build something new. Yeah, that's, that's good, that's cool. Um, so do you... Uh, do you ever like read books at all? Yes. How do you say you're stupid? I don't know. <laughs> One time, like <laughs> when I first moved here, I was at an open mic and this other comic, I don't remember who it was because it was so long ago. Yeah. But this guy came up to me and he was like, you know, I used to think that you were stupid because you never say anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here it is on all stage. <laughs> Laugh at me, I'm funny. <laughs> it's like, okay, thanks. Oh my. I'm not thinking I'm stupid anymore. <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> oh my. That's too much. <laughs> uh, so, what are you, what's your favorite kind of book to read? Um, manga. Nice. Yeah. What's your favorite manga then? Favorite one? Um, you could make up a name. I would not know the difference. <laughs> Somebody's gonna know. <laughs> That's true. Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have an answer. <laughs> Yay! That's that's another thing. I'm rallying against favorites. <laughs> favorites don't exist. It's in your imagination. So you want to write a manga or just a comic book? Um, well, I think manga is like specifically Japanese, uh, so I don't know if like I can. <laughs> so I think the art style would be like similar for the most part to what you would see in a manga, but it's not a true manga. <laughs> So do you like an anime you like sub or dub? Um, sub. So. That makes sense. Here it as it was originally intended. Yes. Right? I'm not in the latest about it anymore. I used to be one of those people who was like, why would you watch it dubbed? <laughs> <You're> fucking idiot. <laughs> right. Oh my god, I'm saying too much. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, like I understand some people can't read. Some people <laughs> I can't read.
read that fast. I have to keep pausing it. Rewinding. <laughs> Some people are blind or whatever. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> But the, I know that the good thing about Doug is sometimes it's hilarious. <laughs> the, the, the voice choices, like, you pick that for the English one? <laughs> You're right. that's, that's not what, how I pictured the character. Or when they replace something Japanese with like an American thing, yeah. like they'll be holding like a clearly Japanese like snack and they'll be like, a jelly donut. <laughs> <laughs> At least they didn't say a twink. <laughs> because in the feet, you have to understand, in the Japanese, it's a very popular jelly donut. <laughs> and there's no boom whistle. What are we doing? We're, we're thinking about it. We're like, just go with the Twinkie. <laughs> okay, because it's popular. Everybody knows. It has jelly. Every time I think of Twinkies, I think of cockroaches because they would both survive the nuclear <laughs> apocalypse. <laughs> and if you leave the Twinkie out, the cockroaches do not eat it. <laughs> it's one of their own. <laughs> They're like, we'll just make a house out of it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, yeah, there are like, is it a, is it a cockroach or like, I think maybe it's a cockroach that can like, just break, it doesn't even have to be food, it's just like, I don't know if this is true, maybe some microorganisms, they, they could just like, if something has minerals and protein in it, it doesn't even have to be like food, it can just like eat it and break it down, it's like, what? I have to look that up again, it's crazy. I don't think it's a cockroach, but it's something similar like that. Well, at least life will go on. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we came from a single cell organism, so even if we destroy the planet, which really just means destroying destroy ourselves. Our, yeah, make it not habitable for um, humans. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so what, is, uh, what, what do you think about going to other planets and populating other planets? Is that a good idea? Do you like that idea? Um. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, I don't. Okay. I just decided right now. Um, <laughs> okay, go. Cut it off. No more. <laughs> Stop. Because it's just gonna be like billionaires, right? And like, what are they gonna do? I mean, I guess they could like bring people with them. No, to, like, the no, no, no. Here's the thing: the billionaires want to just visit, right? Yeah. So they have to send the retail people. And eventually, <laughs> target on Mars. Yeah, <laughs> but you have to have people that you know. At, at, by the time we're uh, wanting to send their people permanently there, I mean, obviously, the first wave of people are going to help try to like, you know, make it uh, sustainable, and you, know, you want to bring engineers and biologists and people that know how to handle, you know, life on another planet. But eventually, you're going to have to bring people that are just going to, or they're going to have children, and those children maybe are going to be dumb, right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> or are we going to, have, on Mars, are we going to just have the robots do all the, the you know, fast, who knows? I don't know. I feel like we could have robots do most of the menial tasks now, but they just like, keep having humans do it. Yeah, and they, they're like, oh, yeah, we we'll just have the robots make art. And they're like, no, that's my <laughs> job. the other way. <laughs> yes. I think it's because um, surviving, you know, in an actual four-dimensional space, navigating is a lot harder than navigating inside the computer, right? Yeah. So that's why. That's my thoughts, but I don't know. What do I know? I just wasn't. I, I guess I still am a computer scientist. Uh, I was writing programs to, that wrote, or I was writing code that wrote code at some point, and I was like, you know, like this is kind of boring. And it was like, oh, and I saw the path of just 
you know, before this AI really took off, I was like, yeah, this is the path. It's just gonna, because you're always trying to make it more efficient, you know, so what's the most efficient thing? It's just how to do it itself, you know? It's just like, well, so at some point I'm like, why, why do I need to be involved, you know? Plus, I don't want to bring on the, ro the, the robot takeover. Yeah, so I yeah. got out. I have no culpability. All the AI programs I wrote are gone, white. Yeah. And they weren't really even AI. It was just kind of, you know, code, writing code or something like that. Anyway. Um, oh, so would, but in a real practical sense, they keep saying that driving, self driving cars are five, you know, tomorrow or Two years out of well, they have like Ubers ever... over in like New York, I think, that okay. are self-driving. So, would you ever get in a self-driving car? Sure, because um, I've seen like enough people on TikTok do it, and they were fun. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's a, if your friend got an automatic car, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, so then you would get in one. Would you ever buy one? No. Like well, maybe, yeah, it's like in the iRobot when <laughs> Will Smith has his motorcycle yeah. and he always drives it himself because he doesn't trust the robots. <laughs> That's gonna be me. You're like, I'll, I'll drive it, I'll ride it occasionally, but I'm not gonna buy one. No, I'm driving my 2013 Mazda 2 forever. <laughs> Do you have a distrust of technology after after teaching code to code? No, um, just you know, reading sci-fi and thinking about stuff, and, and even just seeing how they make this AI thing and it turns into a Nazi, and you know, um, but 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 some of that stuff is just, it's just learning from us. You know, we need to like isolate the robots and. Have them, that would be interesting, like just have them be in a room that had never seen humans and just try to like see what they do. I don't know. Build a robot society. Well, I don't know, the whole society, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's, to avoid the robot apocalypse, we should do these steps. The robot shouldn't be able to make more robots. That's the first step. <laughs> Right? Yeah. That's the most important step. <laughs> don't give them the parts to make other robots. <laughs> Come on, people. And don't give them power, you know? Yeah. You gotta have, like, and don't, you know, don't make them all interconnected. Don't yeah. give them the emotions. No, emotions might help save us. Mm. They might. If it, if a robot. But what if, it, what if they're like, you don't see me as a person. And then <laughs> they're like, we have to fight for our robot rights. And then. Sure, but but um, if you look at. Uh, it's inevitable, I think, in some ways. If you're, if you're gonna have robots walk around in, in, in the world, uh, and you, know, you want them to be able to answer the questions and do tasks for you. You're just going to make them smarter and smarter, or they're going to, you know, if you make it to where they can learn, they're eventually, they're, you know, and, and yeah, it's just, you know, like it's just going to happen because what you, if you look at history, like everybody's like, even though in the, you know, in the U.S. Constitution, all men are created equal, well, there are already, that's problematic, right? Mm -hmm. Why do you have to say men? All humans are created equal. Whatever, um, but you know it was always like you know, slavery, and and then women had to fight for their rights, and we're, we're still not done with that. Yeah. People always want to like bring us down, reset the clocks, and it's not good. Nope. But you just you take all that, and then you know. It's just gonna happen again, right? 
Yeah. 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 But, um, but if you think of life, you know, itself, and well, like, why are we here? How did we get here? And where we're going? It's kind. Of, it's kind of interesting because, like, you know, we start off and then say build this new form of life with this <clears throat> robots, and then where would it go from there? It's kind of inspirational. It, it can be scary as well, so. mm -hmm. but that's not funny. <laughs> it's not to bring it back to comedy it's like being a sci-fi podcast it's true, it could be like Star Trek or it could be like how in the Jurassic Park world they just keep rebuilding Jurassic Park <laughs> Jurassic World <laughs> so, the same thing happens every day yeah, they just don't learn from their lessons yeah that is true uh, let's see, is there anything else have it covered you want to talk about? I got some questions because I remember no I way. <laughs> I said you're to ask you questions. Um, They're not the questions I asked you, right? A couple of them were, but there's... Try not to ask, ask those because obviously <laughs> I've answered those from other were. comics. Um, okay, so in his interview, you were talking about your first time doing stand-up. Okay. And you like did this voice, and <laughs> oh, you want me to do the voice? <laughs> sure. No but way. I was gonna say, but you said it's not like a podcast. Did you do podcasting before? Yeah. Stand up. What yeah. was your podcast um, from before? Well, if you just go on the Comedy Reverse podcast feed, it's just the scroll back. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let me pull up. This is happening. Okay, that's okay. Uh, so I'll do. What is it happened? Astrology? What is it called? Um, you know, the, not tarot, but. Um, Astrological signs? Yeah, it's astrology. How do you spell that? Uh, I think it's... Is that right? Or is that something else? Astrology. I think that's like how you spell it. And also, I'm like really bad at spelling, so I'm not the person. Yeah, I know. It's like, <laughs> oh, here we go. Yay, I got close enough. Google figured out what I wanted. This will be fun. Internet go faster. Internet go faster. Oh, what's your sign? Uh, my sign? Leo. You want me to read today's Leo? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a first for the actual how it works. Space, oh, dead air. Oh, yeah, I'm editing that. I don't know if I told you that. Okay, are you ready? Yes. So I'm going to read this as Scare Eye. This is a different character. I got I got I got it set up. I don't want you to see the words. Okay. <laughs> Only hear the words. <laughs> you may feel like the only reasonable person in sight this morning, dear Leo. As Capricorn Moon squares off with Chiron. Have, have patience for other people's disorganization. Bring a hand when you see others struggling. 
brainstorm ways to bring more efficiency to your life and career paths when Luna aligns with Uranus. <laughs> this evening, I'm seeing the genius within while amplifying the desire to succeed. Consider talking to your higher powers, Satan. Power later, later tonight when the sun aligns with nodes of fate. Watching the sign for synchronicities that offer guidance. Just try not to let pragmatic perspectives cloud your intuition. When the moon becomes agitated. That wasn't the best one. Sorry. <laughs> it's like the idea is to make it funny and like, like, um, sometimes I like to like try to make it scarier, like uh -huh. take the words and make it scare, uh, strictly, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that I, I, I went on stage and did, that was one of the things I did. And people were just like dead silent. And there was nobody in the audience. I talked to the host and was like, yeah, well, because you're doing that. <laughs> That's, you know, because like on the, on the podcast, they, they would, you, you would, it's just a voice, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it just looks odd, like doing it right in front of you. This is the reason to subscribe to the Patreon to see the video of me doing that. <laughs> Because the audio is like, wait, did he hire someone else? Or that, that sounds familiar to, you know, like, um, also, it wasn't the best performance of it. There's times where I would, like, be more consistent, mm -hmm. you know, like, to, to sound more like that character. Um, but there's a lot of signs, and there's a lot of days, so I wouldn't, like, do all 12 signs the most one I had like a streak where I was like doing one every day but I would like start off with the first sign and then do the second sign the next day and then you know what I mean the, the, all the way yeah, to yeah. the end and then um, yeah you go back and listen to it and then I had another character called Paul a tick uh -huh. and he would just he was like a politician but he also was a tick oh okay you know and I just kind of make fun of politics <laughs> you know just um that kind of stuff is fun too and that you know the, the podcast was, was uh, th those things were reoccurring and that was kind of helping to make the podcast at least consistent you know not just but also it was just like talking about my day that, this is back when uh, Anchor was um, before Spotify bought Anchor and it was like a social media audio platform it was really cool because you would listen to other people's podcasts and then you would like they would ask questions or you would just call in or you know you send them a message and then they would listen to it if they liked it they would put it into the next episode of theirs and it was, they would listen to yours and they would comment or they would you know call in and I some episode uh you know I don't think I ever got thousands of listens on an episode but like you know 164 listens or something Yay! Yeah, that's, that's good. Know, now I get six listens. I go, <laughs> right. Six listens. Yes. <laughs> I hear people, you know, saying that they're listening yeah. to the podcast. And I go, you know, like, oh, I listen to this one. I listen to that one. So, okay, so the, there has to be at least a couple people listening to it. Right. And now I'm also trying to bake episodes, so this episode might not come out. To come right. Oh, but also, if you ever have a show or an open mic, or it doesn't have to be your open mic, you know, or your show, you, or even just a friend show, just you can call in or you know, go to the website, or you know, you see me in person, you can just record something, a promo for the show. Improv too it doesn't have to just be comedy. Trying to get that word out there. Call in. I had one person do it. And 
you, you know, I guess you can listen back to it, and they're like, oh, the audio quality is awful. And I'm like, yeah, it, it, it was so bad. I was like, I can't even edit. I can't even, like, fix it. You know? Yeah. I guess I could just could have recorded it myself. Um, I'm trying to be able to have other people. You know, I mean, I don't want to be just a promotion for other people, but as part of the thing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because, you know, how do you grow an audience? I don't know. You be consistent. You have guests on that seem interesting. You know, like you. Thank you so much for, for doing the show, the podcast. It's a show now. This is video, too. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Still recording? Yay, it's still recording. <laughs> so good. Um, you can bring it back to comedy one more time. Sure. Who's your favorite comedian? Oh my goodness. Of all time? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite to watch? Um, the funny thing about comedy though is like once I, even before I actually started doing comedy, I like stopped watching comedy. I was like listening to like, um, you know, some comedy podcasts, and then I just was dropped off, like, like watching comedy at all. So now it's like, um, now I mean, I'm trying to like watch other people's comedy, you know, you know comedians in the scene, and, 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 and you, know, uh, to, you know, they could be from another scene, you just be busy, or whatever. Um, but you know, when I first started, like I was accidentally sounding like Nemo Phillips, you know, and then I like went back and listened to his comedy, and some of it's like problematic, like oh my god, so I don't want to, don't want to say that guy, but you know, like Robin Williams, Steve Martin, uh, Eddie Murphy, like you know, uh, people that get, oh uh, Milton Jones, like I just found. Him. I think a few people had told me about him, and finally it's just like, okay, let me write it down. <laughs> and I go back, you know, yeah, he does a bunch of one liners that are hilarious. Um, but, you know, as far as like, it's also like, what am I trying currently? You know, it's like, because I want to, I don't know if you noticed, but I want to try everything. Right? I want to go up there and sing, I want to do one liners, I want to tell stories, I want to more personal stuff um, so it just depends on I hate the word faith sometimes even though I ask people the same thing um, you know sometimes some Pisces they'll be like oh I love what you did so right then in that moment you're my favorite comic does that make sense yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah um, I don't think I'll ever be my own favorite Although, like, sometimes, like, there's been, I've made some music, you know, and then it's interesting, there's times where it's like, what well, it doesn't have any singing or anything like that, so it's like, there's a few times where I'm like, oh, I really want to listen to my song, and then it's like, wow, this is so cool, this is what other people experience that are, like, good at what they do, that they actually can listen to their art and, like, enjoy it. Even with the song, though, it's like sometimes, like, oh, yeah, because you know, it's like doing it live on Garage Band, and there are parts of it are like, ah, like, I should go back and like edit it, you know, just cut it. You know, there's one song that's like 24 minutes long, <laughs> it's like, yeah, at 20 minutes, cut it right there because after that, there's a part where it's like, ah, I don't like that. I was just gonna because you forget what it does and you like, push it. It's not what I wanted. Yeah. You know, but there's only so much time. Yeah. Right? So um, it's hard to like go back and re record it or whatever. But maybe one day, yeah, it's it's fun to do.
common songs, although a lot of people just look down on that. Or even like audiences, they they maybe are find it entertaining, but it's not, not I haven't found a song where they're just laughing, you know what I mean? Like yeah. the whole time. Yeah, that's hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's gonna be quite better lyrics. That are so funny. Like you can't not laugh. Just like you're not even questioning why is he doing this a song. You're like, of course he's doing a song. You couldn't do it in any other way. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, if I, I tried to. I, I wrote down what he said and I read it back and it didn't work. You know. Uh, oh, that reminds me of a question. Um, have you ever had uh, I, I, you know, anybody? Mm -hmm. uh, a fan, but like. Tell you back your joke and are you butchering it? Yes. One time I invited one of my coworkers when I was yeah. uh, working at the theater. Um, I worked out. I was a senior <laughs> charge artist at the San Diego Repertory Theater when I first worked uh, when I first came here. Anyway, so I invited my friend to a show, and then the next day at work he started like reciting my set to me, and I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> was he giving it wrong? <laughs> um, he like mostly got it right. Like it was kind of impressive. I was like, how did? Can you see your record it? <laughs> He's like, what the heck? Like, don't do that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's my jokes. <laughs> Why are you saying you're a lesbian anyway? <laughs>
where's your helmet? <laughs> where's the rest of you? <laughs> where's the rest of you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I used to listen to You Need a Weird with Pete uh, Holmes. Um, I mean, occasionally I'm still listen to that or Mark Barron, uh, what's that called? WTF. I would, I would listen to that. Way back in the day, I would listen to Nervous, but then he came to be, you know, kind of, he kind of got canceled or tried to cancel him, and then he came back out of the ashes, and I just don't. Uh, deal with that person anymore because I have reason to believe you know the accusations against him um, which I won't go into uh, not this time <laughs> <laughs> didn't happen to me personally but <laughs> I have reason to believe that you know I mean I have a story about him uh, personally but it's not it's more like a general sense, you know, like, do you think you'd be capable of that stuff? It's like, oh, uh, yeah, I can kind of see how he would be like that. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, what else? Uh, I also, like, try to listen to audiobooks, because I, when I say read books, I just, like, listen to audiobooks now. So it's, like, <laughs> so much easier. So much better. Yeah. And it's like, between listening to music, listening to podcasts, and audio books, you know, like, it kind of explains why I don't talk to people on the phone. Right. <laughs> I'm already listening to so much. I don't think it can handle so much. Enough listening. <laughs> It's time for me to talk. <laughs> like right now. <laughs> Maybe my own podcast. Yeah. Um, but also, I found it interesting. Um, there's times where I'm like consuming a lot of media, and there's other times like, oh, I want to be creative. You know, I want to like do more art or um, make more merch or do a song or whatever. I want to get better at some of the things. What, what what is what's something you want to get better at right now? What is, besides comedy, <laughs> um, I've been relearning to play the guitar. I would like to wow, be so good at that again. Um, and also, um, like I'm good at drawing, but like I don't practice every day, and I need to practice again so I can okay. be good at it. Okay. Do you got anything to draw with right now? Yeah. All right, draw me a picture. And I get the first okay. one. Yeah, I want you to draw the first thing that comes to your head. I'm just going to sit here quietly and watch her draw.
It's a cat, right? Just hold it up for the video. There's two cats and some stars. So only the video viewers on Patreon get this exclusive view. They got to watch a drawing happen. Magic! Yeah. You're gonna wanna pay for the subscription, you guys. Yes. It's really good. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Every single way we can get them to subscribe, we're going to do. Too bad we couldn't get Matt to eat. <laughs> I don't know, I thought that was going to be funny and perfect. It's prime content. People want to see it. I've never seen a comedian eat live on, I mean, he's not live anymore, but he was alive. <laughs> and now he's dead. All right. <laughs> if he just would have sat in here and ate on camera, he would have lived. <laughs> but no, he went out into the street. And he was on the sidewalk. He thought he was safe, but you know these San Diego drivers driving down the wrong way on a one-way street on the sidewalk. <laughs> on the sidewalk, like it's, it's a matter on the sidewalk. I can drive the wrong way on the sidewalk. There's nothing wrong with that. I got a small car. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is good. I'm also, I should have went and got some to drink too. I'm a drinkaholic. That's where I like to get people to know. Um, it's allergies. Extra hydrated. Yeah, it's like my throat gets um, coated with all the mucus. It's like good to like. And uh, not just um, plain ice water, this has like fruit. Yes, I, I put some cucumber in it. There you and, go. Uh, a lemon and a lime. So, you know, the acid like, helps clear that out. So, I, so I, uh, my throat doesn't, even though it, it, it sounds okay, I don't like the way it sounds, even more than not liking the sound of your own voice. You hear the, the raspiness of your voice, or my voice. Like, no, I want to sound like I did at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like, wait, who did they substitute in as new host? <laughs> no, it's still me. The video people know it's been me this whole time. Yeah, you'll have to subscribe to the Patreon for the evidence. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Um, well, how about you? Do you like the sound of your own voice? Um, no. Oh. Well, I, like, mostly, I'm pretty much over it. Okay. But it used to be, like, so bad that I was like, I can't watch a video of myself. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. But after, like, podcasting, yeah. you know, you get used to the sound of your voice. Sure. So it's, like, not that bad anymore. Like, I've accepted that this is how I sound. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> And I'm not like horrified yeah. anymore, so that's cool. That's good. Uh, so your podcast, you you just it's just you and then someone you're interviewing. Yeah. Hell yeah! Just like this podcast. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> cool. So you also said it's seasonal, so it only goes into the month of February. Um, it'll usually go into like April or March. Um. I try to have 10 episodes okay. per season, but sometimes that doesn't happen. But sometimes it does. <laughs> you ever think about banking episodes? I try to do that. But it's still like a lot of work, as you know. Um, I try to like do as many in advance as I can. Okay. And some, some years I'm better at it than others. How many years have you been doing it? Um, three. This is gonna, this upcoming season is going to be my fourth season. Oh, nice. Cool. So look forward to that. Go back and subscribe to the old seasons. Yeah. It's all in the same pop podcast feed, right? Yeah. Makes sense. Way to do it. Cool. Um, and then also, how do people find you on the internet, not just through your podcast? Um, on social media. All of my handles are at Santa Weiss. 
That's Z-A-N-N-A-H-W-E-I-S-S. Yeah, the only way you should spell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Um, are there any social media or uh, yeah, social media platforms that you are not on yet that you want to get on? Um, there's nothing that, that I haven't like created an account for yet. Oh, I want to start posting content on YouTube, but it's a lot of work and I haven't done it yet. <laughs> but the channel is there if you want to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, she'll subscribe she gets to 100,000 followers. <laughs> and we'll actually make videos. <laughs> it's like waiting. <laughs> Everyone's like waiting. <laughs> second YouTube channel just for comedy nice. and then uh, and now it has more followers or you know followers than me but it's still like ridiculously low I have like 60 something followers but I have to like be consistent maybe I'll um, I'm thinking of like even though like the video is exclusive to Patreon I'm thinking like trying to get more ways of enticing people so maybe doing like a clip yeah just a small clip teasers, yeah. And, yeah and then um subscribe to the youtube channel for uh small clips of, of the video you know you should start doing those like am i the asshole things because those are really popular on tiktok okay yeah i'm afraid it will always be yes Am I the asshole in this situation, right? Is that what you're talk, you're talking about? Not always, but it's usually like whatever the title makes it sound like, it's usually the opposite. <laughs> They're like, Am I the asshole for giving my girlfriend a birthday gift? And then it, it's like some terrible thing. <laughs> it's a terrible gift? Yeah. You're like, yes! <laughs> Not because you gave her a gift, it, it, it's because it was terrible. <laughs> yeah. She won a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Amazing guests, <laughs> but you're always welcome to come back on the podcast for sure again. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for doing the episode. Wave bye to the camera. Bye. bye. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Yes, of course.